In this video, we're talking about how we can read in information from a Google Sheet using the Google Sheets API. We're doing this with Python, and I'll show you all the steps that it takes to get that information into a Python script. Getting started, we'll need to create something called a Google Cloud Platform project. To do that, we'll go over to the site of Google Cloud Platform. You see it up in the top left, and your projects, if you've already created one, will be listed here. These kind of bounce around a little bit because Google continuously changes their interfaces. But if you don't have one, look to create a new project. Since I already have one, I will click there and click on new project. What we'll go into here is a project name. I will name mine Sheets Demo and I'll click on create. So what that does is give us a project in which we can assign access to different APIs inside of that project. That sounds like a lot, but all you need to do at this point, once you make sure that you're within your project, now that we're inside of a new Google Cloud Platform project, what we're doing is enabling the Google Sheets API. We'll do that by typing in Google Sheets, and we should get the API recommended to us. We will go and click on that, and you see we have a button called Enable. We'll click this. Now that we have this set up, what we'll need to do is create credentials. We'll create credentials in the top right corner. And if it's not there, look around on the page as the interfaces, like I said, do tend to change. So which API are we using? Here is an important thing to distinguish. In this tutorial, we're using our own Google Sheet information. If we wanted to create an application for others to use their information, we might do something with OAuth 2.0. But instead, since we're only using our own information, we'll click on application data. And then right here, we'll say, no, I'm not using them for any of this. And you see that we're prompted to create a service account. This service account is what we'll assign scopes to, to get information from our sheet. I will again, use this WasteScriptX tutorial. I have all of this set up and we can click on create and continue. In this step, what we're creating are the permissions for this service account. We'll select a role and we'll make sure that we can edit our Google Sheets. So we'll choose the role of editor. Now we'll click on continue. Now that we've created this Google Sheets service account, we can use it to access the information. To get that, what we'll need to do is click on credentials and you should see this service account here. We'll want to click on this and we will copy this email address. This email address is a way that we can interact with the Google Sheet. The same way that you'd share a Google Sheet with anyone else within your organization or at any email, you'll do the same thing with this email that is provided via the service account. Here's a sample sheet that I'm working with in this tutorial. There's not a lot of data here, but I just want to show you how to connect it. So we'll click on share. You see I've already ran through this once with a different account. So now what we'll do is paste this in and we don't need to notify since it's a bot account. We'll click share. We'll share anyway. And now that account, that service account should have access to this Excel spreadsheet. If you'd like a little bit more information on the code that we're about to use, there is a Python quick start on Google Sheets for developer, and I will have all these links down below, but I've already condensed some of this for us in this GitHub gist. And the link for this is down below too. So you can go and copy this code. We will go over to our WayScript interface and paste this in. So what we're looking at here are all the imports that we need to get this working. On the quick start page, there is already a nice and convenient pip command, which we can copy and run through our terminal. So we'll run this and this will install all of these libraries that we need to get this working. The scope that we'll need will be this here of all authentication of spreadsheets. So we can read and write information. Our keys.json is something that we will have to go and get, and I'll show you how to do that too. But from there, we're just setting up a service using those credentials, the sample spreadsheet ID. This ID comes from your spreadsheet. We pull it from here. So it's these values in between these two slashes after the D and before the edit. So I will, I believe this is the same, but I will paste it in anyways. And now you see that our service is built and we can set a range. So in this case, this range is composed of the spreadsheet name and the range of values inside the spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet that we're working with is sample. And that's why sample is the first value here. 
and our range goes from A1 to B39, which are these values here. Executing that will just give us our values, and I'm just printing those values out row by row into our terminal so we can see it. But you could assign these to variables as you needed. So the only step that we're missing is the keys.json. The keys.json comes from our Google Cloud platform. We can go to keys and we'll click on add key. Create new key. We'll choose the type of JSON and click on create. This will give us a place where we can download this to our computer. So I will hit save. So I went to my downloads folder. Within the WayScript interface, I will go and upload that file now. And what that will do is put it into the file manager. We will rename it. So it's a little bit easier to work with keys.json and all of the secrets that we need will be in that keys.json. So at this point, we've set up everything we need. We've covered how to create a project, how to create a service account on that project, how to give that service account keys to access and how we can start interacting with the notebook. So our last step will just be to execute our Python script. So ours is called sheets.py. We will execute that and you see that we get all the values back out of Google Sheets. So this is a very basic example on how we can do this. There's a lot more that we can do using their API, but I just wanted to show you enough to where you could get information out of a Google Sheet and start using it in your own projects. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Until next time.